Last week we talked about various saints who, in their youth, led pretty wild lives and didn't really follow God, but yet through God's grace, he helped them become holy. And it seems, too, that when we look at saints, we can see that they've had a deep relationship with God, but unfortunately have sinned and fallen from grace. And that's more common, and we know that ourselves, that we tend to be the same way. We have a deep relationship with God, and then we resist Him, get tempted by sin, and we falter. And we do this because we're weak and we're human, and we will always be tempted by sin. Today's Gospel is a good example. In the reading, King David is mentioned. And King David was picked to become a glorious king by God. He was wonderful and won many wars and battles, and his kingdom grew and grew. God bestowed many blessings upon him. Shockingly, King David was tempted by sin, had an affair with a woman who was already married, and the woman became pregnant. King David didn't know what to do, so he went to the woman's husband, who was a soldier on duty, and tried to trick him and say that he gave him permission to go sleep with his wife. King David hoped that the soldier would sleep with his wife, and then he could say that the baby belonged to the soldier and trick the man. However, the soldier refused to do it while he was on duty, King David, not knowing what to do, killed the man. Regardless of all the blessings that God had bestowed upon him. But God didn't drop King David. No, rather he forgave him. King David humbled himself before God and apologized and repented. And went on to be blessed by God with a glorious life and kingdom and to become one of the most famous men, holy men, in the Bible. When we look at today's gospel, it speaks of a woman who washed Jesus' feet with her tears. The Jewish leaders looked down upon Jesus for letting this woman do this. Now let me ask you a question. Between the three examples of King David, the woman washing Jesus' feet, and the Jewish leaders judging and looking down on Jesus, we know that all three of them have sinned. But what is the difference between the three? King David and the woman knew that they're of their sin, and they asked God for forgiveness. They humbled themselves before God. God blessed them and forgave them. While the Jewish leaders, who are also sinners, were ignorant of their sin, did, n did not ask her forgiveness and judged other people. And if we look at these three examples, this is such an important lesson for all of us. Because we all sin. It doesn't matter how far we are on our journey to become holy. We will sin and fall and we have to get back up again. But it's important that we humble ourselves before God and ask forgiveness. And God will continue to give us his grace and help us and lead us to a more holy life. And that's far better than denying that we've sinned and living in hypocrisy. The Catholic Church gives us a wonderful gift from God, and that is the gift of confession. A chance to humble ourselves, ask forgiveness, and in confession, God gives us his forgiveness and grace, and he continues to help us grow and become holy. Thank you, and God bless you.